Hi, in this video, I'm going to look at the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, also known as the RAAS. So, this all starts with the liver. And the liver produces a pre enzyme called angiotensinogen. And this gets converted into angiotensin 1. And this occurs through the action of renin, which is an enzyme released from the kidney. And the kidney releases this due to low fluid volume moving through the nephrons. Now angiotensin 1 gets converted to angiotensin 2. And this happens by an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme. Now these are floating around in the blood, these angiotensins. So it's when they pass through the lungs that they meet ACE, which lives in the lung. And that's when angiotensin 1 gets converted to angiotensin 2. Now, angiotensin 2 acts on the adrenal gland and it causes the adrenal gland to release aldosterone. And that's a steroid hormone which then acts on the collecting ducts of the nephron. This is within the kidney and causes the nephron to retain water. So I'll put here H2O retention. Then if the body retains water, the blood pressure goes up. And in some people, this can be a bit of a problem. Now I should also put in one other thing that's very important about angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 seems to be a factor in the inappropriate remodeling of the heart after a heart attack. And this can cause significant morbidity and mortality in heart attack patients. So let's have a look at some drugs which we can use to affect this pathway. The most common drugs are the ACE inhibitors. So these are the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. So obviously, these inhibit ACE. The next group of drugs are called SARTANs, or angiotensin II receptor blockers, also known as ARBs, and they stop the effects of angiotensin II. And then a third set of drugs block the action of aldosterone. And the most important of these is spironolactone. It's also important to note that by blocking the action of angiotensin II, the ACE inhibitors and the SARTANs can prevent the remodeling of the heart after a heart attack. So these drugs lead to a lower blood pressure and a better outcome after a heart attack. And that's an overview of the renin angiotensin aldosterone. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.